This is an extremely proud day for us at Abbey Wood. It's also an extremely proud day for the team and DNS that works at Portsmouth and that works on the Clyde here. This is the penultimate ship that we're going to launch, five out of six, and a very important step in delivering the capability of AAW for the next 30 years for the Royal Navy. Oh, absolutely. This is, this is a fantastic day for DNS. It's a fantastic day for the Royal Navy. It's a fantastic day for the people of Glasgow as well, because the ship, of course, is affiliated to Glasgow, the town where effectively she's being born. So a huge day for us because it demonstrates that we can do this sort of high-end, complex project. You know, the very sort of demonstration of what DNS is about and what is, you know, we signed the support contract now. This ship will be with us for the next 30 years to look after as well. This isn't just a one-off day. This is a long-term relationship. What this means for the Navy is certainty because this is a project that's been in gestation for a long time and we're now shelling them out like peas. This is the fifth ship, she's been launched on time. We're getting money back from BVT, a really unique position to be in because they're doing better than they expected. And we've got the sixth ship and I can look at you really confidently and say we're going to launch that next October. It's a fantastic advert for actually what we're now doing with the maritime program. Six Type 45s at sea, the Navy love them, they're really capable, we'll have them there, all six ships at sea in 2012. And this program really starts to demonstrate certainty because we're delivering it, we're doing what we say, we're hitting milestones, um, and then we can lead that into the carrier and then into the future surface combatant, our future frigate. So you can see the sort of program progressing, but it's keep that experience base in our project teams and with the shipbuilding industry here in the Clyde and in Portsmouth and around the country.